Well, if you're planning on flying in the next 24 hours, be prepared for massive delays and cancellations. There's a lot of red on that board. As you can see, Toronto Transit issues are not just limited to ground level. More than 600 arriving and departing flights have been cancelled and there are hundreds more delays, leaving plenty of people scrambling to make alternate arrangements. I had a flight at 1.30 and uh, they decided to wait for somebody's bags. At 1.30 it was totally clear and then by the time they got the bags on it was the white out. So we were on the flight plane for four hours. After four hours they told us to get off the plane and that they were going to rebook us for the next day. We came in from Paris on Air Canada and we were getting a connecting flight to Newark, New Jersey. Uh, it was starting at 6 o'clock, got delayed till 8.40, and then right around 8 o'clock they said it was cancelled and all the hotels are booked by now, so it gets a little frustrating. Tonight we had a flight 7, cancelled, 9, cancelled, 11.30, cancelled, midnight cancelled, so we have to wait until tomorrow 10, and there is no guarantee. These delays and cancellations are expected to continue well into tomorrow morning. Pearson Airport is asking passengers to be patient and check the status of their flight before heading to the airport.